I would like to start off with a little anecdote about Lenore. Uh, we hardly knew each other, but we did a lot of parallel things, and one of them was modeling at the Art Institute. And one day she told me, one of the students comes running up to her in the courtyard and said, Lenore, I have to talk to you, and he was very angry. He said, I always had this image of you as kind of a Gauguin island chick. And here I find out, not only do you write, but you publish. I never want to do a drawing of you again. <laughs> um, we also, um, I, of course, Willie was a hell's angel. I knew some of them, but I wasn't connected the way Lenore was. I did get... Uh, when the Chocolate George died, I got some of the stash. <laughs> but I would like to read something I found on page 210 in the book. I enlarged it for myself. Which I, and it's one of the unpublished poems. Night Passage. The Other Side of Dawn. Again. Once more I've spanned the oceans of the night, tides of 4 a.m. despair, and lonely wonders of the dark beasts of the soul that lurk behind the silent hours when wise men sleep at ease. And fools like me stride mumbling through the stars, dissecting dreams with scalpels of the mind and bleeding visions like a wounded ghost. Once more I've made it through. Pale sunlight warms my skin. Small birds that sing in cities light the air. The morning smells so sweet. Mm. Oh, oh, <laughs> we did write other things besides the beautiful erotic poems, but because it was erotic, that's what people know it most for. Uh, I'd like to read something of my own that I feel has some connection with the poem I just read. And it's part of my new book called Can't Stop the Beat, which was published last year. Hold it and up. And which is here. Hold you it can up. Get. Hold it up. What? You have it oh, there? Hold it up. Yeah. And there are some available copies here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway, this I wrote this back in 93 and finally it did get published. If you're around long enough, things do happen. <laughs> I'm going to be 84. I'm going to be 84 this year, so I'm happy. Okay, 1950. You lie. I lie about a lot of things. I'm a show off. Okay. 19. Now this is before the beat period. A few years. 1952, light waves in August, heat makes mirage, August on the road again, the road going west, San Francisco rises out of the fog, a city in gauze. My last ride drops me on Broadway and Columbus, North Beach says, this is where you belong, right on. <laughs> San Francisco, I'm home, a walking city, up and down steps. Vienna, not quite. A pang here and there. Enough, this is not a travelogue. Crash, it's 5 a.m., the garbage truck. Oh, no, I'm right on the alley. The garbage truck, twice a week. Enough. I call the landlord. Any other room? Well, there's one upstairs. You better take a look at it. It's a closet with a light well. Ten dollars a month. Great, that fits my finances. A shower on the roof. Yay. Size of a phone booth. Steam of the shower. Night fog. The ferry building clock is my timepiece. Typewriter rattling on the boxes, writing the blues, other colors. Where's the jazz? Night walk from North Beach to the Fillmore. I wear black. I always wear black. Melt into the night. Bright, light, jumble, Bob City, jazz, 2 to 6 a.m. What a jam. Jumbo, I don't have a dollar. You don't have a dollar, I'm running a business. All right, go on in, but next time, next time, <laughs> Jumbo, I, listen, girl, grab a tray, no wages, but there's tips. 
only near beer, you hear? Stan Willis, the wild man, and genius is a rare thing. Jones on keys and singing. Cowboy and trumpet picking a note here and there at the back of the stage always. Stephen rocking in on his limp. Fingers cradle the bass. These are, these are my touch points, smoking buddies. Stan knows where pianos live, enters the homes where pianos wait for him. A soft smile, hello, not another word. Sits down and plays and plays, leaves. No doors ever locked to him where piano lives. Stan gives me his record, maybe his first. Writes for Ruth, who is in time to tame the universe. Cowboy looks the same 40 years later as he blows behind me at an Oak Street session. It is in Stephen's pad I first hear Night in Tunisia. Well-known names drop in from gigs at the Blackhawk, other clubs, 2 a.m., soul food, a rib here, a riff there, the joint is jumping, there are girlfriends and paid girlfriends. <laughs> paid girlfriends with more manners. <laughs> <laughs> Sparkles, the wheel, round and round, the dealing, it's a scene, man. It, every so often, a quiet face, tuned in. 6 a.m., Bob City closes, half a block away, Jackson Snook. A counter, a room small and dark in the back, the wonton soup, delicate, the coffee strong. Uh -huh. Delicate and strong, Mr. Jackson, tall, light-skinned, his hair gray and curly, an ageless face. His chillin' behavior, this a listening place. One by one, the ones who must play enter, the search for that note, that only one. It's a jam for the heartbeat, no feet tapping, no hands clapping. I walk slow through daybreak. Blue back to North Beach, my lids fold around my whole being. Mm. Oh, yeah. The North Candle. The beat, the beat, the beat, body as temple, the words sing to wheels, crashing sand, countless sand grain hands clasping. Kalima! Thank you.